This video will take you through launching a Blackboard Collaborate web conferencing session using Google Chrome as your web browser. There is a significant difference using Google Chrome as opposed to Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Safari. So, pay careful attention to the downloading of the Java file. I'm going to put in the link that the organization has given me for the session. On this screen, you will see the name of your session, and then for number two, you'll see your user authentication information. What you need to do is, if you're a guest, you'll choose this radio note. Most people that enter a Blackboard Collaborate session are just guests. Usually, the lecturer, the facilitator, or the moderator have a username and a password. What you're going to do now is put in your email address and the name that you would like to appear in the session. Follow the steps for number three by joining the session. You're going to log in on the right by clicking Login. The session will begin to load. Since you're using Google Chrome, your file will download and it will show up in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. This is the Java download. Choose the button Keep and then when you see the file in the bottom left corner, you're going to need to double-click that to open it. Double-click the file. Java begins to load. Be patient. And while you're waiting, peek behind this window to see if Blackboard Collaborate is hiding. It's not, so just be patient. There it goes, and you can watch the dots as the session begins to load. At some point, you'll get a choice of to choose your connection speed. If you're wireless, choose wireless, and if you're on a landline, choose LAN. Click OK and your Blackboard session will load. While you're waiting for your session to begin, you're going to go up to the Tools, Audio, and run through the Audio Setup Wizard.